funny thing was Eddie said he wanted me to go 43-7 flat started, and you know, Eddie has, um, I don't know <laughs> what he's talking about sometimes, but that was kind of out there. But as for me, I wanted to be around 44-2, 44-3. So I was a little bit off, but hey, um, when you get to the NCAAs, it's all about who can get your hand on the wall first and all about helping out the team. So times really become irrelevant after that. I think Eddie wanted me to, out, to be out a lot faster. 21-1 is kind of slow. I was at 20.8 at Big 12s, not shaved, not um, kind of rested. But one thing I learned was Jack kind of ran me down the last maybe 10 yards, tightened up a little bit. So maybe I tried to play more conservative. I had the relay before. Uh, I was 19.9 on that. Wasn't really as fast as I wanted to be. I knew I didn't have the going out speed I wanted to or thought I would have uh, coming into the 100 fly. So I knew that I had to work the back 50 and <clears throat> kind of play it more safe. Probably should have gone out a little harder. Went for it a little bit more, see what happens, but you know, Whatever happened, happened, and I'm just happy that I could get my hand on the wall first. Yeah, I you know, Jack's one of my best friends on the team. Um, I said before, I like to keep my um, in-pool affairs and out-pool affairs different. So in the pool, kind of put each other out of the pool. We hang out like normal friends. And Jack got me twice, one at the Eddie Reese invite. <clears throat> kind of surprised me with the 50 fly there. Really wasn't really for the second one. <clears throat> but he got me a big 12 to 100 fly. I think he ran me down like three quarters of her body length the last 25 so that really kind of annoyed me a little bit so I <clears throat> saw him the last 25 just now and I was like there's no way I'm gonna let that happen again so I put my head down the last three strokes and you know was fortunate enough to get my hand on the ball first.